All right, guys, I'm going to start this Vlogmas episode, and I'll explain what Vlogmas is later, but starting this video off with a workout, uh, back and biceps, single arm dumbbell rows, four sets of seven to eight reps. I went heavier on those at least, and then I went into some easy bar cable curls, four sets, seven to ten reps with that pause at the top. Um, again, I just do that for isolation and focus, um, get that blood pumping in there. And then I went on to some single arm cable preacher curls, four sets of seven to 10 reps for each arm. Again, just a little bit heavier and then focus on that squeeze at the top. You'd be surprised at how much it hurts. And then I went into some dumbbell curls, four sets of 10 to 12 reps. And then I go into a super set of hammer curls for four sets of 10 to 12 reps. And today was more of a bicep focus day over back. Um, you know, on some of my days, I'll do more of a back focused day and some is more bicep focused. So today was just more bicep focused. And you know, some days I go in there planning to hit one exercise and I hit something else. It's just, I just kind of go with it. And this is actually an exercise I've never done, but I saw it on Instagram and I wanted to give it a try. So you're on an incline bench and I have a rope attached to the cable machine and it's just like a rope row on the cable machine. It, I hold the pause. I really liked it. I would give it a try if I were you guys. Um, I felt it. So I did uh, four sets of seven to ten reps. And then I went on to this T-bar row on the cable machine for four sets of seven to ten reps. Again, hold at the top. I, I just like, I love that contraction. Um, that's when I feel it. Then I have some seated bicep curls, four sets of ten to twelve reps each arm. Um, Again, as I said earlier, it was just a more bicep focused day. I just wanted to hit biceps more, so that's what I did. My next workout that I do back and biceps, I'll hit more back. And then the last exercise was these uh, standing single arm bicep curls on the cable machine, uh, three sets, 12 to 15 reps. Gotcha. Welcome to my first ever Vlogmas video. Vlogmas is supposed to be like a video every day in December with some kind of Christmassy theme. What I can tell you is mine will most likely not be a video every single day, but I will do a Vlogmas type series this month where if I do vlogs, I'll try to include a Christmas theme. That's what I can tell you. So yeah, that is why I have, you know, this merry Christmas shirt on. That's what I worked out in. Um, I have my post-workout shake. I'm drinking this. And then I'm going to go to the grocery store. I think I'm going to make like puppy chow or like protein chow. You know, puppy chow is like the Chex Mix with peanut butter and chocolate. But I'm going to try to make like a healthy protein chow. I'll call it that. That's what I'm gonna try to make, so we'll see what I can find to make that. I think there are probably recipes out there, but I'm gonna put a little twist on it, most likely. We'll see, but I'm gonna go to the store and get some stuff for it, and then head back and get some food, and then work on another video, and meal plans, and emails, like I do most nights. Stick around. So it's time for the post-workout meal. I said I was gonna go to the store to get stuff for the protein chow, I didn't do that yet. I'm gonna eat. Then I gotta finish the video, and then I'll do, do that, and then I'll come back, work on a meal plan, and then I'll do email, and then I'll eat, and then I'll do comments, and then I'll eat, and then I'll upload. It's a whole thing, there's a lot going on. But I did the prep similar to last week where I kinda just cooked it all up and put it in containers, so I still have to weigh out the chicken, eight ounces of chicken. I have green beans, which I'll do about a cup and a half to two cups. And then I have rice, which I'll do about a cup to a cup and a fourth. So, and I'm gonna heat it up on the stove. Again, I do that often with my dinner because it just tastes better. It brings flavor back to the meal. I'll get extra virgin olive oil. I add some in there and then it just tastes much better. So you can microwave it if you want, you can heat it up on the stove, whatever works for you, do that.
It's about an hour and a half later, so I'm gonna eat again. I'm gonna eat a taco though. It's a homemade taco. So I had like ground beef this week, but I bought taco shells. So I'll make that up. I'm also about to post a video, but obviously if you're watching this, you're gonna see it. It's a full day of eating video. And then I'm also gonna post something on Instagram. You know, when it's for a business purpose, uh, it's not as easy as just like, well, no, I shouldn't say easy, but it's not as, I shouldn't make it as simple as just one or two, you know, sentences, and that's the Instagram post. You know, now it's it's much more involved. I try to have, you know, a paragraph, maybe a little bit more, um, more recently, and it's been getting more people's attention, so it's different than a personal Instagram where, like I said, I used to just post, you know, one or two sentences, something, you know, generic, but now it's much more thought out, so they actually take a little bit longer to post. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna do that. If you're not following me on Instagram, at Water Drug Fitness on Instagram, follow me. Also Snapchat, at Water Drug Fitness. Twitter, at Water Drug Fitness. Follow me on all those. But I'll make up this taco, and then I need to go to the store still to get that stuff for protein chow, puppy chow. So there you go. Maybe not the proper way to make a taco, but it's the water jug fitness way to make a taco, you could say. It's gonna be good. I've already had like two previous week. They are delicious. You should try it. It's time to make the puppy chow. I know I kept saying like protein chow, but it's not really gonna be that because I'm not adding any protein powder to it. You could. If you had like peanut butter or like chocolate protein powder, you could definitely add it to it and make it like a protein chow. But that's not what this is. I don't have that kind. But you really only need, like what, four things? So I only had to get two, because I already had the other two items. You're gonna need peanut butter. So I always look for and get the peanut butter that just has peanuts. So it should say contains or ingredients, and it's either just peanuts, or it might say peanuts and you know some sea salt. That's what I look for. Then I have some semi-sweet or mini morsels, just some chocolate. We had some left over. So I have enough. Then I had to buy some powdered sugar. I looked for alternatives for powdered sugar because it's just sugar and carbs, but I think you can like make your own, but I wasn't gonna go that route. So I won't use very much of it. I'll probably use less than what the recipe calls for. And then I have some corn squares. I'm balling on a budget now. They probably taste the same, I don't know. But let's just make it. That's really it for the puppy chow. I mean, I could add more powdered sugar if I wanted to, but I really don't want that extra sugar. So, you know, it's really up to you how much you want to add. You could coat them till it's like all white, or you could do it the way I did it, and you know, it's not really that white. Let's grab some. Good stuff. Mmm. Let me get some more of that. <coughs> So now I just have it in my snapware, 
it is done and yeah, I can just leave it out. You don't gotta store it in the fridge, you don't have to store it in the freezer. I'm guessing you could if you wanted to, but I'm not going to. I'm just gonna leave this set out in the container. And I actually made a tuna sandwich as well because it's time to eat again. So I have two pickles, some mayonnaise, and two packets of tuna. Here's the tuna, and there's the bread I used. And it's pretty simple. Just simple tuna sandwich, but it's delicious if you guys haven't tried it. You need to.